Oh boy. Ten minutes more to drive. Oh my man. If you thought track days were about as much fun as you could have driving a car, well, think again. Because driving on ice on a frozen river in northern Finland can completely change your perspective on what you can and cannot do with your car. Particularly a quattro powered Audi RS4, which is what I found myself behind as part of Audi's ice driving experience. So this is what Audi's ice driving experience is all about. You're flown to Finland and then for about three days you get to drive on ice to your heart's content in these RS4 Avants. And basically it's every enthusiast's dream to just slide around on ice endlessly. I can literally do this for days on end and not get tired. Few things to keep in mind. Number one, these cars come with studded tires and that helps you essentially gain traction on what is an impossibly slippery surface. Think of them as inverted nails sort of embedded into the tire wall uh, and you'll understand how it's able to sort of bite into this cold ice that we have underneath us. And then of course we are in Scandinavian country, so in Finland, the country that practically invented the Scandinavian flick because of the extremely treacherous weather conditions and it essentially involves going left to go right and what that means is that you sort of pivot in one direction and then you use the car's own weight uh, and transfer the momentum to point to the other side oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy So, who is eligible? Pretty much anyone. Anyone who owns an Audi, that is. Audi does this for a select few customers who are flown to Finland and, well, they get to have the three best days. It doesn't just involve ice driving, you are allowed access to snowmobiles, you, if you're lucky, get to view the northern lights, you're wined and dined. And it's Audi's way of showing their customers uh, that they are special and also showing them what these cars are truly capable of and maybe even retaining them to a point that they can move up to these RS cars as well. This is really the best of Audi's tech on offer. You get to see Quattro, you get to see how their V6s perform in this atmosphere. If you know your physics, ice drifting can be a breeze. As long as you're okay with steering and accelerating in the direction opposite to the one your car is facing. So it's simple enough in theory. You kick it up a gear and the car gains straight line speed one more time. And you kick it down a gear, initiating engine braking, at which point the load is transferred up front, making the rear lighter and when the rear is lighter you get to essentially slide around and then hopefully you can use steering and throttle to essentially just drift the car using only weight transfer to sustain a drift and yes should you find yourself losing control well all you need to do is just kick it up a gear again it takes a lot of practice but that's exactly what the ice driving experience is about. Well, not entirely. The experience also entails long rides on a snowmobile and chasing the northern lights. But it is primarily about having as much fun with your car as possible. So you drive it for three straight days, morning to about sundown. Now the sun rises pretty late. So you're going to see some light around 9 o'clock and then it sets by about 3.30. So you do get a good five odd hours and uh, as soon as you reach the next morning, they've laid out a new track, they've cleared out the snow and you've got this nice stretch of ice. It's essentially uh, near a reservoir. So we've 
we're on some very stable, very, very thick ice bed. By the time you're done, if not mastering, at least coming to terms with the art of driving sideways, there's very little, there are very few forms of driving that will hold as much thrill for you. Because that's how much fun this is. There's just something about lateral movement and what it does to your senses. It's really driving nirvana for the enthusiast. <laughs>